guys my name is ankush kaurav and i welcome you to con2 series in the previous tutorial we learned how to customize data binding feature for a particular controller class with the help of init binder annotation and web data binder concept i also talked about the concept of built in property editor classes which is supported by spring mvc now in this tutorial we're going to learn how to write your own custom property editor class guys let me give you a brief summary of what we learned so far related to the concept of built in property editor classes which we saw in detail in the previous tutorial and later i would explain everything to you about this new concept that is writing your own custom property editor class in detail spring mvc has given few classes to developers which are known as property editor classes like custom data editor custom number editor custom boolean editor etc etc spring mvc calls them built in property editor classes spring mvc says hey developers each property editor class which i'm giving to you is designed to customize data binding for a particular type for example here in the previous tutorial i showed you how to use custom date editor class to customize data binding for properties having date type in the similar manner you can use custom boolean editor to customize data binding for properties having boolean type and in the same manner you can use custom number editor to customize data binding for properties having number types say long integer etc etc Here is a complete list of built-in property editor classes which are supported or provided by Spring MVC. So the concept here is very very clear. In order to customize data binding for a particular type, you got to use a particular property editor class from this whole list which is designed for that type by Spring MVC. Now the important thing to note here is sometimes you may not find any of these property editor classes suitable for your project requirement in that case what will you do let me give you an example say in this demo my requirement is something like this what i want is when user would submit this form with these values to my application then before performing data binding task for this form spring mvc should check whether user has provided here gender along with the name or not that is a value mr or ms before name or not if user has provided gender before the name then spring mvc should happily bind student name form element value with the corresponding property of student object that is with student name with no problem but if user has not provided here gender specification you know in the name then spring mvc should consider miss as a default gender value for the name so in this case let's say user has entered abc xyz name for student name then once user would submit the form then spring mvc should not mind abcd xyz with student name property but it should bind miss abcd xyz so how will i achieve such a requirement now this is a kind of very specific project requirement you know for me in this demo and for this i'm not finding any built in property editor class suitable so how would i deal with such a situation when no built in property editor class suits my requirement spring mvc says hey developers if no built in property editor class you know which is provided by me is helping you then you go ahead and write your own custom property editor class and solve your purpose so for this project requirement which i just explained to you for student name form element value what i'll do i'll create my own custom property editor class with the name student name editor and then i would register the object of student name editor class with web data binder reference in the same way i registered custom date editor object with web data binder reference in the previous tutorial i'll do one thing i'll quickly make all relevant changes for this requirement 
and then I will explain everything to you in detail. All right, so here I'm done with making all required changes for this requirement. What I've done here, I've added student name editor class, which is a custom property data class, which I've written here for this requirement. And here I've simply registered the object of student name editor class, which I just added here in the project with the web data binder reference. Now let's understand what exactly I've written in this student name editor class. Spring Emphasis says, hey developers, when you are writing your own custom property editor class in your Spring MSC project, then you have to extend that class from property editor support class, which I provide to you. And also you got to override, you know, one of its methods set as text method the way I've done over here. So this is how the overall flow works. When the user would submit this form, then before performing data binding task for the student name form element, that is for student name property, Spring MVC would make a call to this function and get you this value, which is entered by user for student name form element here in this variable that is in the student name variable. And here in this function, you simply go on writing your own logic for modifying student name. And then whatever value you will pass to this set value function, Spring MVC is gonna use that specific value to perform data binding task for student name property of the student object. So here in this demo, let's see how this overall flow works when user doesn't specify a gender value with the name. And the user has given ABC XYZ for student name form element and submit the form. The request would reach to this request handler method. And here, this model attribute annotation would automatically bind all these form elements with the corresponding properties of student object. But wait, here, because we have mentioned here, this line, Spring MVC is not going to perform data mining tasks for student name property, which is having string type before consulting student name editor class. So here, in this method, I've written logic to modify student name value. So here, this logic would append miss value along with the student name. That is, it would make ABCDXYZ value as miss ABCDXYZ. And then I'm here passing this value to set value function. So Spring MSC is going to use miss ABCDXYZ value for performing data binding tasks for student name property. Let me show you this by submitting the form. Cool, so this worked as per my expectation. Spring MLC appended ms as a prefix, you know, with the name entered by the user while performing data binding task for student name form elements value. Guys, in the next tutorial, we'll learn about the most awaited topic that is Spring MVC form validations. Guys, a big thank you for liking all of my Spring MVC tutorials. If you have any feedback or comments, please provide them below the video or simply write to me for all of your queries on this email ID. Please hit the like button if you really like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Conto Series and I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial.